where did you see the opportunity to like improve those games or to enhance them with with some sort of product? Yeah, so I, I mean, I saw an opportunity because I like looked it up on Wikipedia. Uh, you know, that's not probably the best source, but it's pretty good source uh, <laughs> to start with. Yeah, but I saw you know that there's a hundred different ways to say like skipping stones in different languages, or they just had like different phrases for it. So I was like, okay, this is a worldwide thing, um, and there's like sport like there's a there's competitions um so there's a competition that had been going on for like 50 years almost and they literally spend so much time searching for the perfect skipping stones to bring to the competition so like my my first initial goal was to kind of provide the standard for the sport um and i just love sports because i you know i did basketball baseball i did gymnastics tennis um so i did a whole bunch of sports Um, so there's a formalized kind of league or association for skipping rocks yeah. in a in a pond yep okay yeah did not did not know that i know i didn't either <laughs> i was surprised when i saw it um but yeah i started with clay skipping stones then it evolved to like fish food skipping stones um and then it went from fish food to like this event rental like home like i went to home depot and built use my little ashy furniture home sk- store skills to build like a pool um, in front of the Sun Devil Marketplace store, um, 20 foot, 24 foot long pool, filled it up with a little bit of water, put some targets at the end of it, just so people had like something uh, to skip the fish food stones into. Um, but I didn't even use the fish food skipping stones cause they were messy and gross. So I just decided to 3d print some like Guinness world record holder designs that he helped me to, to design. So I worked with the Guinness world record holder with 88 skips. Um, and, that guy has 88 skips yeah. with one throw. Yep. Not with mine, <laughs> but with like a rock, like a heavy rock. That, uh, 88 skips. Holy cow. Yeah. How, how many skips can you get? Um, I went to one of the competitions and I competed and I was like two skips away from the pro or something. So I was like 24, I think oh, 25. Wow. I did pretty good for my first time. I I, I'm excited for three or four. But it's all about the resources. You know, everyone's like skipping stones, you know, is hard or like I can never get three. But it's like if you had perfect stones, like it's a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah, Everyone's always looking for that like flat. Yeah. Flat stone. What what is a perfect stone? Because I'm always thinking of something flat. But yeah. So I actually kind of found out that a little bit of a rounded like bottom helps because you know, you got to try to eliminate the cutting into the water. So yeah. any sharp corners or edges of any kind will cut into the water. So if you can allow it to kick off of the water and help it produce that wake, because when you're when the stone's skipping, it's creating like a wave, like a wake to ramp up off of, and that's how it skips. So just, and also having the ability to create as much spin on it as possible. Okay, so, so spin, like when you flick your wrist, you're trying to get it to spin mm-hmm. uh, like, clockwise yeah well yeah any direction like if you're right-handed left-handed but yeah. like um it's gyro, it's called gyroscopic stabilization so the more spin you can put on it it stabilizes it and keeps it on track uh, okay. and it keeps it above the water too so that's why we have this corner a little bit longer um because that allows you to leverage the top corner and wrap your finger around like that roll it off your index finger and create spin um, and then you flick your wrist. And so and this is this is uh, what you guys, uh, you created. And um, what is this made out of? Yeah, it's foam. So we went from clay to fish food to reusable, like foam. Um, so How that do you get be, it back out of the water? Like It floats. <laughs> oh, okay. So this helps a little bit, you know, that it floats, I would assume. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, it just makes it easy to retrieve. And then you're skipping it back and forth because it's a cornhole game. So you have two teams on either side. You're skipping it back and forth, so it's really easy to retrieve because you're skipping it towards each other. Okay. 